What's up everybody? I'm Jason Mayfield and today we are looking at the New King James Version Journal the Word Reference Bible. So the first thing that I want to point out is something that it says right here, which I really love this concept. I really love this being a tagline for this product. This is basically my full opinion on how we should read scripture. I believe that the scripture interprets the scripture. Now, I think bringing in external resources like commentaries, those of you who've been with me for a while know that I do use commentaries. I've got a pretty extensive Logos 8 um, library, which by the way, if you want to use Logos 8, I do have a coupon code down below. I believe it saves you 10%, um, but I don't know because I didn't have a coupon code when I got it, but I passed the blessings on to you. I wonder if I could use my own coupon code. I'm getting distracted. Let's go back to this. So I really like the idea of that Scripture interp interprets Scripture. And so what they write here is they say, let Scripture explain Scripture, reflect on what you learn. And I really, really love that. Now, this is a New King James Version. They have other Journal of the Word Bibles, but this is their reference Bible. So this is the reference edition. So we're going to get in here, and I'm going to start telling you my thoughts. So first thing that I like... This is simple. This is a, um, uh, what is it? A mahogany leather soft. Everybody's got their own words for fake leather. Just call it fake leather. It's the fake leather edition. That's easy. Now I'm going to tell you first thing when you touch, I really do not like the way this feels. <laughs> um, I will tell you this though, in quality, just immediate uh, reaction to this. I feel this way about most Bibles. This doesn't even come near to that quality that Crossway has, even in their cheap Bibles. You know, one of the things that Crossway does really well is that I'm getting an unknown caller. All right, bye-bye. People interrupting my videos. Anyway, one of the things that Crossway does really well is that they are able to have this really nice premium line but that same care translates all the way down to their, uh, um, their cheaper line, uh, their inexpensive line. We'll call it their accessible line of Bibles. And so you can get a $15 Bible from Crossway that's really, 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 really nice that I feel like that same, you know, that it kind of translates across the board with what they produce. Most other Bible companies, if they're not making something that's premium, it's just not as good. Their, their, their more accessible Bibles don't carry the same quality as what like a Crossway does. So uh, this one is okay. When you open it up, it's got this Bible belongs to. This is all ugly. This is just really ugly. Um, they're never going to send me a Bible to review. I had to buy this one. So I'm going ahead and just guessing that they're not going to want to do anything with me. Uh, for the most part, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You got table of contents, all this information here about it, and then the Old Testament. Now, I am going to tell you what I really like, okay? What I don't like is because it is so thick, it's not so thick that I have a problem with it, but it is so thick that these pages here are going to be hard to do anything with. But just like my single column, I like that it goes out. You know, you put your notes on the edge. The lines, I used to not like these lines uh, in my Bible, but I've really grown to like them. They do help me stay a little bit neater. Um, but one difference between like my ESV single column and this is the reference. It's the reference side of everything. So this is probably in terms of a journaling Bible, granted I haven't seen them all, this is probably more uh, comparable with a Cambridge wide margin than any other journaling Bible that I've seen because it has the references, you know, you've obviously got your footnotes, but it's got these cross references on the side. So I think this is... Honestly, it's really impressive, and because of those cross-references, you do get a little bit of inner margin if you wanted to work with it, but with these, I say, you know, my, primarily push your notes out. One thing that I do really like about this is that, kind of like Skylar has done with their premium Bibles, the headings and the numbers, now not the verse numbers, but the, the reference numbers, and the chapter numbers and the headings are all kind of in a maroon. I'd like to see them in maybe like a little bit more vibrant color. Um, but, I mean, very impressive. I like this, too. You get a lot of space there. If you wanted at the end of books, you could 
maximize those space if there is any room at the end of a book. Um, the, uh, the words of Christ are in red. It's a different red than the headings. So the headings are more maroon. The words of Christ are more red. I actually, in journaling Bibles, wide margin Bibles, Cambridge is bad about this, not having all black letter editions. They used to be better. But uh, I have actually gotten where I don't like red letter text, especially in the Bibles I'm writing in because the red doesn't work with the notes as well because of the, the drawing and everything. So the black helps a little bit with that, especially if you have a color coding system. Like where there's just a lot of red, the notes, the, the red and your colored notes just are going to get all messed up. Um, let's see what's in the back here. Got a big concordance. Now this is different than uh, the crossway journaling Bibles because you got all this stuff back here. The nice thing about that, oh, you also have note pages in the back. I like that. I wish they didn't have notes at the top of every page. You know, you could just leave it blank. I think the majority of people will figure it out. Um, but the nice thing about this versus the ESV single column is that this little bit of paper here is going to help you on your last few pages in Revelation. So that actually can help just serve a buffer. That's the one big benefit of the Cambridge having, you know, such a massive amount of stuff at the end is when you write in Revelation and stuff, you have that good cushion there for writing. So um, here's my thoughts on this. I don't remember how much it costs, but we'll flash that up on the screen. And my thought on this is, oh, one more thing. I wish it didn't have Holy Bible on the front. I feel the same way about the, uh, the Cambridge. Like just, I know what it is. I didn't, I didn't think this was the, the works of Mark Twain. Okay, I know what it is. I don't need that written on the front. And that way it just has, it's clean. I like it clean. Um, my thoughts on this, it's great. If you use New King, New King James, I'd get it. It is not up to snuff with my uh, Crossway stuff. If Crossway products in general were a 10 out of 10, which they really, they aren't because there are some things with them. But if they were a 10 out of 10, I'd give this a 7 out of 10. Just not quite as good. But if you're a New King James user, highly recommend this. This would be great for in-depth Bible study that doesn't lean on external resources. Granted, you could bring external resources in if you wanted to. But if you just had a Bible, you were just studying, you just wanted cross-references, all that, this is great. This is great. I would say information-wise, What's in this Bible? Going to be similar to a Cambridge wide margin. But it's just not the quality of a Cambridge or a quality of a crossway. Let's pull these ribbons out. Ribbons even got stringies coming off of it here. See? All jacked up ribbons. Yeah, so this just isn't, it's not, it's not great. It's good, but it's not great. All right, so I recommend it. If you use the New King James Version, I wouldn't leave Crossway for it for sure, but looks good to me. So I've got a link to this down in the description below, and if you like videos like this, make sure that you like, you comment, and you subscribe. Click that little bell so you get notified anytime I post a new video. All right, so see you in the next video.